So I've just finished um, sticking the new badge, decal, whatever you want to call it on. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. It looks really good. Well, I say really good. It looks better than what it was before anyway. Um, that's, that's the old one. See the silver has started to wear off of it. And the forward one. Where are we? There we go. It was yeah. Looking shitty. Anyway, with this one, what I did was got a flask of boiling water and it's poured over it and then um, just kind of got under the edge a bit of a really flat, it's like an ultra thin scraper just to get it started and then pushed it around and then pulled and pulled and pulled and eventually it just popped off it wasn't too, too bad um, and on the back you've got Of this one, you've there's there's three these spikes. Well, on that one, there's the three spikes, and there's also another one right at the top. Well, you don't need that one, so snap that one off. The middle one wouldn't line up because it's a Chinese repo, so um, I snap that one off as well. Um, and the other pins on this one slightly too big so I just I just put a mini grinder along the side of it poked it in without the backing on the sticky stuff taken off thought yep yeah, that looks all right took it out then because um, I polished all this so I polished all the back of the van so um, I then got some isopropyl alcohol and cleaned this area until it felt like it wasn't smooth anymore. Roughed it up with a bit of emery paper just to be on the safe side. Stuck a bit of, um, what is it, just glue. Um, that stuff is impact rubber, cement type glue just on the, the two um, spikes that go in the back. And where I snapped off the the other one that was right in the middle, just give it a bit of extra adherence. I mean, that's all right. This one, getting this one off, um, I thought if I go under it, if I go under here with the sharp thing, it might just scratch the paintwork. So um, I got some tooth floss and. Um, just started cheese wiring it and um, it, it snaps every now and then but eventually yeah it works and once you've prized this off so far just stick something behind it to hold it up to put a bit of tension on what you're reaching and yeah that wasn't too bad under this arm there's a hole but there's no spike to go into it um, so yeah did the same that's been polished bit of isopropyl alcohol take it off um, and then I thought, ah, this has got to go on straight because there's no spikes to guide it. So I've got um, spirit level. Stick that on the top of there. And I had to drive the van forward and prop it up until it was dead level. Then you can tell from here, just kind of touch that on, put the level on the top and then once you know, the bubble's level, just push it out. It's not rocket science, but yeah, if you're on an even ground and you stick it on, it might be a bit pissed. But yeah, there you go, it might help somebody out. On oh, the fucking rubber stuff that's left on from the old one, that was a ball ache to get off. I was rubbing it with bloody isopropyl alcohol 
and it wasn't really doing much and then I was rubbing it with my fingers just backwards and forwards and then trying isopropyl on the cloth, rub it then the dry cloth um, rubbing it with my thumb just, you, ju you just got to keep going at it keep going at it and eventually it will come off um, this side wasn't as bad but it's just one of those things where you just got to keep working at it that's a ball eight, the, the rubber stuff, but yeah, that's basically the hardest part. Now, I've taken the number plate off because that was... Um, there's the original holes where the number plate's supposed to go, and they've just put screws in, and the, the number plate must have been... Well, when they put it on, it's, 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 it's bowed, and the only way I could do it was... I got it in on top of the cooker with some weights on it, trying to straighten it out. I made the holes a bit bigger on the number plate so it'll look a bit flatter than it did before. Um, yeah, oh, and that, that there is a reversing camera. It's a direct replacement for the light. I bought that off of eBay for $7.99. Um, yeah, I've got them, um, so this just connects straight into the back of the stereo um, the light black goes to ground and the red goes to the reversing lights the minute you put it into reverse you've got a reversing camera but yeah 799 if you haven't got like a, a double din um, what do you call it hi-fi in your dash then you can buy like a cheap screen but it's just so much easier when you're parking in town and you see a space and you think I know I can get in there well, it's a bit tight. Um, yeah, for seven ninety nine. Well, that was a few years ago. They're probably about a tenner now. But there you go. Right, that's my tips for putting decals on. Cheers.